reminded me, I wanted to ask you about self-publishing briefly. Uh, yeah. I you self-published your, your, your yeah. poetry earlier this year. So you're a hybrid author. And oh, that, I guess. <laughs> that temptation there, knowing that you could just do that and reach, um, you know, if, if publishers are making you pull your hair out with delays or anything else, you could just publish whatever the next book you want to publish is. Does that become a temptation for you? Or is the experience? Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> so the, the, the poetry book that I published, it's a, it's a chat book. So it's very small. Um, and I never sent it out. It wasn't something that I, that I sent out to editors. I didn't try to get it published traditionally. Um, it was something that I, um, took a lot of uh, poems from when I was younger and um, and ones that I've written more recently, um, collected them um, so that it was a co something cohesive. And then I, um, I wanted to, I just wanted to hold it in my hand and give it to people, um, my family and my friends. Um, I worked on it with, um, an artist friend of mine whose name is Robin Arts and she designed the cover and she designed the book and it's beautiful. Um, she's someone I've known since I'm in my twenties and like the opportunity to kind of like create this thing with her um, was just like a dream come true. So I didn't really go into it with the idea that like, I'm going to sell a thousand, you know, a million copies of my poetry. Like I, I didn't even care. I did a very small print run. Um, I hope people buy it. They can, you know, they can order it direct from the, from the printer, or like I said, I'm going to put a, a buy button on my website. Um, I think that like at this point, all the people who I wanted to have it, have it, which are like my friends and my family. That's really what I did it for. So I don't really have any temptation to, you know, self-publish anything else because unless it were another poetry collection similar to that, because um, like my fiction, like I want it to reach a wide audience and I want it to be nice to make a couple of dollars, you know? I mean, that's not why I do it, obviously, but like I want it to reach a, a wide audience and um, I don't have the wherewithal to do all the things that one needs to do as a, you know, self-publishing. Um, it's a big job, right? It's like the job of a whole publisher. <laughs> like you're doing all that, the promotion and the marketing and, you know, like all of that. And, you know, I can't even, I can't even like stay open to queries. Like, I don't know, how am I going to be like <laughs> publisher for my, for my book, you know? So yeah, I, I won't be doing that. Um, the only way I would do it again is if I, if I did another poetry collection. Well, I assume that changes your perspective a bit on people who have maybe previously self-published or now want to bring a new project to you to traditionally publish. And are you seeing that change with your fellow agents and other agents as well? I think that like from, from the very beginning of what, like, I don't think that's changed for me, like what I've seen, it, it hasn't changed um, since I became an agent is that the people, there are people who self-publish and either they're successful at it or they're not successful at it. And then they decide they want to traditionally publish. And that's fine. I don't care if someone's self-published. Um, the, the, I don't think it's like a positive. I don't think it's a negative. The only way that it's a positive, they've sold, you know, 20,000 copies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if, 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 they, if their numbers of, in self-publishing are great, then it's a positive. Otherwise, it's just kind of a non-issue. It just doesn't matter um, because um, because it just doesn't matter. It doesn't take anything away. Uh, I certainly, um, and I think a lot of agents would agree with me, um, if something is self-published um, and doesn't do well, like you don't sell a lot of copies, don't bring it to me, <laughs> right? Because I can't sell that. Uh, in traditional publishing um, because the first question they would be like, well, how did it do when they tried to self-publish it? It's like, well, it didn't do so well. And I think a lot of people who are self-publishing think that, you know, like, well, you know, with the right publisher, it would do well. It's like, well, but you kind of shot, you shot, shot, you shot. Um, so that always kind of makes me sad because it's like, you know, wish you would have just, come straight to me and then like we could have worked on it we could have like 
maybe, you know, kicked it up a, le a level and, and then given it a try, you know? I don't know. I work That's in traditional publishing. You know, I work in traditional publishing, so I'm not like the best person to ask about self publishing, even though I did that as a as an author. But for authors who who have self published, who are listening to us, with that, mm -hmm. Linda Epstein, she feels my pain. I'm going to query her as soon as she opens back up. The fact that they have self published, as long as they're bringing to you a completely new project, yeah, either here or there, we're starting. Absolutely, to and I I think most agents would agree with that. I mean, if they don't, I would love to know why. So when I come on the show, agents. <laughs> <laughs>